Well, I just stood on my shoes. They're in the way. <laughs> I'm not a very tidy person. Sorry, folks. Uh, let's see how we go with this. All right. Going to make it 200 for this. Oops. <laughs> This photocopy is making annoying mechanical noises. As you could hear just then. Let's see what we've got to present to this uh, piece of shit. Oh, what have we got? We got here from David Jones, Father's Day, colour his world. Well, Father's Day, well, I don't have any liking for Father's Day because my father is basically in a nutshell to to know one thing he's an asshole and I'm not going to respect him until he apologizes trying to get me to stop doing what I do here uh, thinking it's stupid and that but basically he thinks he's always right he thinks he knows best well he go fuck himself and fuck us and fuck Father's Day He's not getting a fucking present. He's not getting a fucking phone call or a text or anything. Until he fucking apologises for the bullying, he can go fuck himself. He can go bully himself because I'm not going to be standing around taking his shit. He thinks he knows best. He doesn't. He's an asshole. Assholes like him do not know best. They can go fuck. Get fucked. What if we do a better one than this? But I've got my way of doing things now, folks, and I don't listen to people trying to tell me what I'm doing is wrong. I have no uh, respect for that kind of bis bullshit. I know what I'm doing with my life, and I'm doing it. I'm not perfect. I do make. I have made mistakes, and I think the mistakes were what were why is why Dad was such an asshole for longer. So I have made mistakes, folks. So. I have to put up, I have to live with my mistakes and just follow my own uh, intuition. Now that looks interesting. <laughs> I think we can use that, maybe. But basically I'm just using my intuition, folks. I'm following my own nose and my own dreams. I'm not going to let anyone, including my father, tell me what's right and what's wrong because just because he's my father doesn't mean he's always right. In fact, he's done a lot of things wrong and he's an asshole he doesn't like he doesn't respect me he doesn't treat me with any kind of decency so i don't treat him right i treat him like shit because that's the only way he's ever going to get the idea is if i treat him in a similar way that he treats me except i don't tell him to stop singing even though he fucking can't sing for nuts he can't sing for nuts and yet he's joined a group a while back called sing australia and he can't sing. Even his teacher called him a croaker. Maybe that was a bit mean of the teacher to say that, but it sort of, he can't sing. <laughs> That's what the teacher was trying to say, is that he couldn't sing. Not everyone's born to sing, folks. I'm not born to sing. I, when I try to sing, I yawn, so I can't sing. So there you go, I accept that. I'm not going to be a singer, full stop, That's it. That's all right. But he doesn't seem to get the idea. <laughs> he, he, I don't understand how Sing Australia actually tolerate his uh, poor singing uh, and allow him to go and perform with them at the uh, Sydney Opera House. I don't understand how he gets to... How, but, I mean, he's in a choir. He's not actually a soloist, thank goodness. <laughs> he's not a soloist. But basically, I think they just drown him out. They just allow him to have his little delusion and just drown him out in the crowd. Because it is a, it is a, a, a choir, not a, uh, not a, um, a solo gig. He's not singing solo, so they just 
they obviously just tolerate him and allow him to be drowned out in the choir by the by hopefully better singers than himself. <laughs> I just don't understand why he fucking bothers. You know, he tells me to stop doing what I'm good at and what I enjoy, and yet he expects, yet he does stupidities that he, he, he enjoys singing, but he can't fucking sing. He's good with electronics, right, folks? He's not totally untalented. He's good with electronics, you know, and I want to see him uh, nurture that that skill once again and it is a skill so dad's not totally fucked it's just he's made some stupid decisions himself and he thinks that he 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 throws things away now he doesn't fix things anymore very often so i'm not happy with the way he is in polluting the environment as well as not being not being a nice father so he's not a fucking you know, I used to admire his electronics and electrical skills. Uh, but, you know, that's down the track. I'm hoping he'll come to his senses and maybe we could shake hands and forgive each other. Uh, but at the moment, I'm just going to give him the middle fucking finger. But anyway, that looks interesting. I think now we can call this demo quits.